Hello all, Minister Tom here. Today we're going to talk about the armor of God. That is part of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 14 through 19. It's very, very interesting and probably one of the best written portions of Paul's writings involving what that armor means. We'll go over it briefly. The armor of God uh, talks about our faith put into God and what we need to fight off the devil. First being the belt of truth. God only speaks the truth. And while we have the belt on, we understand that the truth is, is within the Bible. Pretty simple to understand, but there are many commentaries and short little sections you can find on the internet to tell you more. Uh, the second is the breastplate of righteousness, and that's in verse 14. Well, as Christians, we are to live a righteous life, and that breastplate allows us to do so for the next several hundred years, armor of one sort or another was worn by soldiers in order to protect themselves from the swords of their enemies. Here, our faith is within the breastplate and will save us from the uh, trials and tribulations presented to us by the devil. The third is the shoes of the gospel. And that's in verse 15. And what that is meant is we as Christians are to bring the gospel to everyone. In order to do that, especially in those days in the first century, you walked. So the gospel was told by walking from town to town. Except in Paul's case, he wrote several letters. The fifth is the shield of faith. And once again, the shield is known as being a defensive weapon to thwart off swords and spears and rocks and whatever else. Uh, it was used to keep you safe. Again, you need to be safe from the work of the devil. Number five is the helmet of salvation. The helmet, again, is defensive in that it is around your head and will defend you from the suggestions of the devil. The last, of course, is the sword in chapter 6, verse 17. The sword is, a, is an offensive weapon, and that's what you go after the devil with just as you did in the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, up to about the 15th century, where you used a sword in battle to kill your enemy. The same idea applies. Now, how do we use that today in the current events that are going on with our students? Well, we must wear the armor of God. We must reach these students most of which don't have any idea where Gaza or Palestine is located. And that's pretty sad. The agitators that are there need to be removed. And any student that destroys property must also be removed, expelled, and if they're not here as an American, deported to their own country. Yes, I said it. We are a Christian nation made up of laws primarily backed by the Bible. The founders were very well read in the Bible, believed in God and faith and Jesus Christ as our savior. Here, the problem is those who are protesting have no idea that the land in which they are protesting against was given to the Jewish people by God. 
All you need to do is read Genesis and Exodus, and it's clearly stated. Friends, I wish us all the best. We are in times of trouble. The country is economically uh, teetering on the edge. Socially, we are a mess, and it's time that the, we Christians speak up, get a hold of our representatives, and if available, help the police to put down these protests which are no longer peaceful. Minister Tom here saying thank you for watching and I will see you soon.